Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to take a break from the dev content. So I've been learning a lot about blue light recently and how that can negatively affect our health. And this is not any kind of health advice for you. This is just something interesting that I found that I thought might help you too in case this is something that you're also interested in learning more about or just trying to figure out for yourself. And with that, let's learn together. All right, so today here we are in the settings app of our macOS system. Now, as you can see, I'm running the beta version of macOS, but the accessibility settings are the same nonetheless. So one thing that I've been learning is that blue light is not great for you. And uh, so today I'm doing my recording outside, for example. So you'll hear the cars drive by, you'll hear the dogs barking and the birds chirping. One thing that we can do to help reduce our blue light intake is actually change some accessibility settings on our devices. Now, this doesn't help with every health outcome, but it can help just reducing the blue light. So one thing we can do is we can go into the accessibility settings on our Mac, and then we can go into the display settings. And if you scroll down here on the display settings, you should see an option called color filters. Now, this color filters option allows us to uh, filter out either certain colors or only allow certain colors through uh, kind of depending on how you got it set. Now, uh, by default, this color filters is off, which just means you get the natural color for everything on your screen. If you turn color filters on, for example, as you can see, it just turned the whole screen red because we've actually been able to remove all the blue out. Now, you can change this, and for example, if you just want grayscale, then you can just choose the grayscale filter. Uh, but again, since I was just interested in trying to figure out how do I get less blue light out of the electronics that I use on a regular basis, then I want to come over here and just change it back to color tint. And you can change the different intensity levels here. Um, if you want n basically no intensity, then as you can see, all our water back here is still blue. We haven't filtered anything out. Uh, and the tint that we want this intensity to be is we want this to tint towards red. So we've got our tint set up here. And just to make uh, make this clear again, like if you put it all the way up to high, then red is the brightest color that comes through. And as you can see, the water, the blue in our water back here on our background uh, has gone away and changed over to a shade of red. Now I'm going to turn that back off for now. And we're going to actually jump over to uh, my iPhone here using the iPhone mirroring. Now the iPhone has a similar setting. So if you go again into accessibility and display and text, you can scroll down until you see this color filters option here. And again, I've already got this set up to tint it red. So we can see down here uh, that again, it's this is just showing a hue shader. And there's a bug right now in iPhone mirroring that's not got that's not allowing this to display correctly. But if we were to look at it um, on our device we could actually see that it is solid red. So uh, in just a second, I will swap out of the mirroring and I'll bring it over here to just my camera. Now, as you can see here on my phone, on my physical device, phone is basically red. Everything is showing uh, completely red, which is good because that'll help us get rid of some of that blue light that we were trying to fix earlier. Now, sadly, there's not a setting for this on the Apple Watch just yet. Um, I did submit a feedback report for that, but you can also do the same thing on your iPad and you can also do the same thing on your Apple TV if you don't mind looking at your TV uh, and having it look like this all day. I don't mind it because I just want to try it. It's an experiment for me and I think that would be fun to just try out for a little while. But for now, we'll turn it back off. You can also create a shortcut with this. And so I've got a shortcut that just turns the color filter on. And so I set that shortcut up as toggle fire mode and you can see that toggle fire mode over here on the left side of the screen so let me get the simulator out of the way and the settings out of the way and now you can see if I click toggle fire mode it turns on our color filters and if I click that button one more time it turns them back off and we can jump back to a normal color so it's not a permanent thing uh, and it is actually really easy to undo if you don't like it or say for example you're trying to set up a new design that you've gotten from um, from a designer and you really need to be able to see those colors super accurately and they need to be very specific. If that's the case, just turn it back off 
and then whenever you're ready, you can turn it back on. And with that, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And if you leave a comment, just be nice about it. That's all I ask. Thanks. Have a great day.